Well, folks, welcome to Bob Redford's Outdoor Magazine this week. I've got a special guest. You've seen him on the show before, and actually, you know, in the past years, this guy's outshot me. But it's Kurt Newbreck. He is the field marketing manager for Chevrolet, and I tell you what, you know, Kurt, it's awesome, Bo. It is awesome having you here. Hey, I'm glad to be back. Well, I tell you what, quail hunting has got to be better than pasture pool. Oh, for sure. Any day of the week. <laughs> well, folks, listen, I tell you what, we're going to head on out to the field, but you see this beautiful Silverado truck behind me? It is the new Chevy 2021 Silverado Duramax. We're going to talk about it. I'm going to get this guy. He's going to, I'm going to pick his brain about this new truck from Chevy. But right now, we're going to head on out to the field. Bo, I can't wait. You ready? Let's go. Let's go do it. Folks, this is why you come down here. <laughs> Pretty little small mouth right there. There we go. Bye, guys. This week's destination is brought to you by Chevrolet. Chevrolet, finding new roads in the outdoors. Today's Chevrolet destination features another great hunting destination that you can find more information about by going to Bob's Top 16 at www.bobredfern.com. And be sure to check out all the award-winning Chevrolet vehicles at chevrolet.com for your next outdoor destination. Oh. There you go, take it, Kurt. Got him. Got him. Only mine didn't hit the water. You got him. Oh, man, I tell you, though, that was a pretty rise, though. Look got at the water over. in the background. Oh, there he goes. Yeah. Mm. Mm -mm -mm. Okay. That's what I'm talking about right there. Yeah. Ah. That was a good start. Come on here. Come on, Pop. <laughs> Beat the sun there you go. Got to. Mm -hmm. All right. Bird's in here. Right there. Nice there shot. There we go. Woo. Mm. Mm hmm. Man. No, sir. I switched to a 20 today. Yeah, man. I've been shooting a 410. Yeah, there we go. Yeah, look at him. Ah! Hey, Kurt, and I'll tell you. Now, is it not pleasurable to be out from behind that desk? It is. Huh, back out here in the field with Bob Redford. Huh? It is, it is. <laughs> I've oh, got man, no you're complaints. Doing, you're doing good. You're doing good, man. I, I just, I wish, I got to get you out here more often. Though, well, man. I appreciate it. You know, I mean, we have a lot going on at Chevrolet, but, uh, I always uh, have time to take, uh, you know, take some time with friends. Well, and talk some new vehicles and stuff. Yes. That's, that's what we got to do. Yep. And Jay Rowland and the kids are going to put us on some more birds. That's a good thing. Let's mm. go do it. Can, can you just feel your heart jumping out of your chest before that big flutter? Mm. Yeah, we got the wind on our nose. Sun's at our back. That's it. The three kids are moving slowly. <laughs> ah. All right, guys. I think that may have been one earlier. Take him. There you go. Nice Down. shot, Kurt. Nice shot. There you Thank go, bro. That, that's it. Woo! Yeah, reload. 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 
One down. Oh, we got one behind us. Yep. They go up, they go down. Yeah. Nicely done, Kurt. Thank you, you too. Yeah, man. The kids are working hard this morning. <laughs> I see it. Mm. Woo, yeah. man. Ah. You know, Kurt, on our behalf, I'll have to say that that tree was an excuse. Yes. <laughs> okay. <didn't> tree. <laughs> you didn't see a tree. Folks, I tell you what, all this backstreet comedy here by our guide, Jay Rowland, man, here you know, I give him a new vest and put him in BROM's vest. And look what we get, nothing but grief. Man, that's pretty. That's pretty right there. Yeah, it is. Mm. One, two, woo! Hot. Nice shot. Aha! Get reloaded. Folks, stay tuned. When we come back, we're going to have more great quail action from Southern Woods Plantation and with my good friend, Kurt Newbreck from Chevrolet. Southern Woods Plantation. The name itself conjures up images of a time gone by. A time of towering pines, mule-drawn wagons, and covey after covey of Bob White quail. Southern Woods Plantation has been chosen as one of the top six hunting destinations in America. They offer great hunting, comfortable lodging, wonderful food, and world-class dogs. Southern Woods Plantation, where the past can still be experienced today. South Carolina's Santee Cooper Country invites you to relax and get away from the pressures of everyday life from world-class fishing, golf, camping, or lakeside dining on traditional Southern cuisine. With over 450 miles of shoreline, Santee Cooper is an exciting challenge for fishing, canoeing, and kayaking offering unique outdoor adventures for the whole family. Santee Cooper Country. Discover the natural wonders of South Carolina's Great Lakes. To receive a free newsletter and e-news, just log on at SanteeCooperCountry.org. Want to know the difference between power bait and other soft plastics? Ask the fish. Berkeley scientists have thousands of flavors tested on thousands of fish. Natural, man-made, every bait that's ever hit the water. And no matter the shape, size, or color, power bait is the only one that is scientifically proven. Fish bite and will not let go. It's still the night shift, just brighter. Still a traffic jam, just better views. Still making an entrance, just turning more heads. Still your to-do list, just getting more done. Still packing up? Just a little easier. The Chevy Silverado, making life's journey just better. Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine is being brought to you today by these following sponsors. Chevrolet the official vehicle of Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine by Lake Hardwell Country, the land by the blue wall. By the South Carolina Agriculture Department, it's a matter of taste. By the old 96th District of South Carolina, come discover the unexpected wonders. By South Carolina Embroidery and Screen Printing, your source for all your promotional product needs. Nice. Boom! Woo! <laughs> Woo! Man! Bo, that was awesome. I only had one shell left, too, by the that way. That was awesome. I had to make Man. the count. Woo! You need some bullets? No, I'm good. I'm just oh, okay. talking man, up story. Shot, Kurt. I, Making it sound better. I got to give you that one, man. Man. All right, Kurt. Come on, man. All I, right. need, I need you on the right flank. I'm here.
Whoa! Down. Got Woo, one down over here. Cubby there. Woo. Oh, folks, Southern Woods Plantation. I tell you what, Kurt Newbreck from Chevrolet. I don't get a chance to get him out here very often, but I tell you what, when you see coveys like that and the guides down here, all the dogs, they are tremendous. Log on to Bob's Top 16, go down to Southern Woods Plantation, give them a call, and you need to book your next trip down here. You won't regret it. All right, man. Yeah, all three of the kids are here. Look at them. Mm. All the dogs are pointing and backing. Woo! Wow. One down. Nice. Nice. <laughs> Woo! Yep. Well done, bud. They went all your way. They did. Yeah. Jay had that plan from the start. That was. That was. A... Couldn't touch him. Oh, he just left the bird back there. Ah, go back you. in. Wow, what a covey ride! Well, that was beautiful. Yeah, man. I listen. I just kind of put my gun down, and watched you do your thing, huh? Man. I'm on a roll. Uh, you are. I'm telling you, buddy. Thank you. Nice shot. Nicely Appreciate done. Appreciate it. Nicely done. Mm -mm. Hey, Jay called it though. He did. He knew they were there. I know, man. He's amazing. Just like a good guide. <laughs> yep. Lead you right in the direction of a covey rise. That's right. Mm. <laughs> oh my gosh. These flushing dogs are worth their weight in gold. And a good set of bird dogs. Mm. That was a pile of birds. Isn't that yeah, was boy. a pile. <laughs> I, got to go find them now. I had my choice. <laughs> Beautiful. Oh, nice shot. Woo! Mm. Thank Good you, boys. Man. Wow. I'm ready for the next one. Kurt, I got a feeling they're coming your way, my friend. I, you said that last time. Oh, I know. Oh, yeah. Woo! Nicely I got one. done. They went all your way. Every cubby. I got one. Nicely done. I got... Another one right here. I know. You did. Wow. You were shooting. right. They were coming right. Great shooting, Kurt. Thank you. What a covey rise. That was mm. special. Whoa. Look at that tail, Kurt. Whoa. I tell you. I know. Woo. Straight up. Ooh. Look at Piper. Got him. Woo. Man. Nope. There he He's is. Down. I see him. He's down. I got the thing, but I tell you what, trying to get them through them trees, mm, I had a choice. I either try to get it before yep. or try to catch up after. Exactly. Mm. It's not easy. Have patience. I'm telling you. You know, the shooting this morning has been a challenge, really. Oh, I mean, it has. Towards this terrain. I mean, but what kind of habitat only southern woods gives you this kind of habitat to, to hunt quail in. That's for sure. Very special. Hey folks, stay tuned. We're going to the sportsman's table. Got another great recipe this week. And when we come back, it's going to be more great quail hunting action right here from Southern Woods Plantation. Avoiding propeller strikes. Many propeller strike injuries can be avoided by turning off the engine when passengers are boarding or disembarking. Never start a boat with the engine in gear. Make sure all passengers are properly seated before you get underway. 
Take a journey off the beaten path to Lake Hartwell Country. Tucked away in the northeast corner of South Carolina, Lake Hartwell Country is a hidden gem with waterfalls, mountains, beautiful lakes, and history dating back to Revolutionary War times. For the outdoor enthusiasts, Lake Hartwell Country offers fishing, hiking, water recreation, horseback riding, and so much more. Come visit Lake Hartwell Country, the land by the blue wall. At sunset, boats are required to display a red and green light on the bow and a white light at the stern. Navigation lights are for others to see you and your intentions. Remember, safe boating is no accident. Nestled in the western part of South Carolina is the old 96 district. Comprised of Abbeville, Edgefield, Greenwood, Lawrence, and McCormick counties, this region is rich in history, fishing, hunting, and small town flavor. Old 96 district is part of the South Carolina freshwater coast, covering over 2,000 miles of shoreline, which offer many fishing opportunities and is home to the only wild turkey museum in the world. Local businesses offer a wide variety of unique gifts and foods. Make sure you discover the undiscovered wonders of the old 96 district of South Carolina. The Sportsman's Table is brought to you by the South Carolina Department of Agriculture. Whether you live in South Carolina or out of state, be sure to buy South Carolina grown meats, vegetables, and fruits. Make sure your food is South Carolina certified. It's a matter of taste. Joining me today in downtown Florence at the City Center Market Kitchen is Chef Jonathan Polson with Victor's Restaurant, a mainstay, a landmark here in downtown Florence. Jonathan, I got to tell you, it's a pleasure to have you here as a, as a guest chef on the show today, but I'm really excited about the recipe. Tell us about that. Yeah, it's good to be here, Bob. Thank you for having us, and thank you for showcasing Florence. Um, we're going to do a very, very, very simple peach cobbler for you guys. It's something anybody could do at home. Very simple ingredients, very easy procedure. Uh, what I'm going to do is I've got about three cups of chopped peaches. I'm going to add those to the pan with about a tablespoon of butter. Now, you know, I have to tell you, Jonathan, I never believe I've ever seen a cobbler started in the frying pan. Yeah, okay? what we're going to do is we're going to try to get a little caramelization on these peaches okay, real quick. I got you. Uh, we're actually going to then deglaze them with a little bit of bourbon. Once we get down, I'll try to... Yeah, I'll tell you, whiskey's always good. Yeah, though. I mean, huh? you can't really edge go off. wrong with it. You can't really go wrong there with it. There you go. Now, you guys, um, you have this at Victor's. You're a landmark, okay? Uh, what, 20 plus years in downtown Florence? That's correct. Yep. Uh, we've uh, been in Florence for about 20 years. Uh, we're currently located uh, in downtown Florence. Uh, we are in the lobby of Hotel Florence. Uh, and we've been there about seven years now. Wow. So it's nice to be downtown. It's nice to see the growth going on down here as well. Yeah, man. So once that butter kind of incorporates a little bit, we're going to add a few more ingredients. We're going to add some brown sugar. Okay. We're going to add a tablespoon of vanilla. We're going to add a pinch of salt. Ah, just got to have a little bitterness to it. A little bit. Now, folks, if you want a copy of Jonathan's recipe and, um, and more about Victor's, just log on to BobRedfern.com, and we'll have it posted right there under the sportsman's table. Oh, man, I tell you what, that, that, there's folks love, love fresh peach cobbler. Yeah, and it's a great uh, mainstay here in uh, South Carolina. You know, uh, technically we're not the peach state, but I think a lot of people in South Carolina, including the Department of Agriculture, would argue that I, I maybe what, we are the peach state. I so. think so, okay? I think peach for peach. I think we produce we, more yeah. peaches than Georgia. We okay. do, we do. Uh, so, Look at that. Oh, man, the flames. So, yes, we're going to put a little bit of flame on there. And be careful, you can see I almost burned myself, <laughs> even as experienced as I am. And what we're going to do is we're just going to let that simmer just a little bit, just to cook some of the alcohol out of it. Uh, that way, you know, we know it's safe for your kids, yeah. safe for your granny. Everybody can have well, a little bit of you know, whiskey folks, and it'll be all right. And I tell you what, on Jonathan's behalf, okay, I, you know, bourbon is for cooking, not for drinking, okay? So just remember that. There you go. So we're just going to let that reduce down just a little bit. 
once it reduces by about half and kind of makes a little syrup on it, we're going to cut it off and we're just going to let it cool for a minute while we mix up our cobbler batter. All right, Bob, very simple cobbler recipe. This is basic one to one to one ratio, one cup flour, one cup sugar. Oh, wow. And one cup of milk. Okay. We're going to add a little bit of melted butter in there because we are in the south and everything needs butter. It's got, listen, it always gets better with butter. Now, we're just going to whisk this up real lightly just to get some of the main lumps out of it. If it is a little lumpy still, it's not a big deal. Yeah. And, Bob, as I pour this over here, if you don't mind just grabbing each one. Yeah. And throw them in the oven for me. Oh, I'll do it. Be They're glad gonna, to. We're going to cover them just to the rim of these little pans that I have here. All right. I can do that in a heartbeat. Mm, that is something I can do. Now, I can't cook, but I sure can eat, and I can help. All right. Man, that's awesome. Look at that. Now, how long are they going to stay in there? They're going to go in for about 20 minutes, okay. or at least until the center is nice and firm. You just don't want it to be liquidy anymore. All right, Jonathan, I'll do my part here, bud. Yes, sir. Go ahead and bring them on over to the table because right. everybody knows you can't have cobbler oh, without man. a little bit of ice cream on without top. Without ice cream. Golly. Woo. So we're going to finish these off mm. just like that. Yep. Mm. Get a little bit of that heat in the backdrop. Oh, that's and right there we have bourbon peach cobbler a la mode. Delicious. Jonathan. Thank you so much for yes, being sir. our guest chef today. It's a pleasure being here I today, really sir. appreciate it so much. And folks, listen, if you're in downtown Florence in the beautiful state of South Carolina and you want to test more of these great recipes, come on down to downtown Florence here at the City Center Market. Victor's will be right there. And I tell you what, and if you also want to check on what's fresh on the menu, log on to certifiedsegrown.com and see what for yourself. And we'll be right back here again next week with another great recipe on the Sportsman's Table. To find out more information on food that's fresher and tastier, go online at CertifiedSCGrown.com. Buy Certified South Carolina Grown Products. It's a matter of taste. Misidentification of game is one of the leading causes of hunting accidents every year. Use a flashlight when you are going to and from your stand in the dark. Be safe, be seen, because safe hunting is no accident. Welcome to Upcountry South Carolina. Discover the six counties in Upcountry South Carolina that run from metropolitan cities with fine dining and cultural events to pristine natural beauty and all the adventure that goes with it. From hiking, rafting, to some of the best fishing in the southeast. Six counties, one state, a million opportunities. Upcountry South Carolina, perfectly seasoned. It's still the night shift, just brighter. Still a traffic jam, just better views. Still making an entrance, just turning more heads. Still your to-do list, just getting more done. Still packing up, just a little easier. The Chevy Silverado, making life's journey just better. Take a moment to think about the food you buy and eat. Is it fresh? I mean really fresh. Or is it shipped from a grower hundreds or even thousands of miles away? Well, here in South Carolina, we celebrate fresh, locally grown food and unforgettable meals with family and friends. So choose food that's rooted right here. Choose certified SC grown. It's a matter of taste. Many accidents and fatalities could have been prevented if operators would have worn their safety lanyard. It easily attaches to you. When an operator is thrown overboard, the lanyard pulls the cutoff switch, cutting power to the motor. Safety lanyards are mandatory on personal watercraft. Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine is being brought to you today by these following sponsors. The South Carolina Department of Natural Resources, Life's just better outdoors. Abu Garcia, fish to win. By Upcountry South Carolina. Upcountry South Carolina, perfectly seasoned. By Southern Woods Plantation, offering the best in Southern comfort in quail hunting. By Linex in Greenville and Rock Hill, South Carolina. Your Linex headquarters for all your truck customizing needs. And by Santee Cooper Country. Discover the natural wonders of South Carolina's Great Lakes. Beautiful points right there. Beautiful the, uh, points. 
All right, Kurt, they're going to come your way. I know it. There you go. Yeah, yeah. Oh, All right. Man. Woo. Damn. He was rolling fast. Ah, oh, man. That's what I call cross Chris. Mm. Nice. Nice. And a Georgia snow. Yep. Oh, man. You just put it out here. Easy now. Pop it. Come on here. Pop it. Pop it. Let's go. Another nice shot. Well, I don't know why they keep coming left. I'm sorry. <laughs> oh my goodness. Well, folks, in our show today, I've asked Kurt Newbreck with Chevrolet to talk a little bit about this new 2021 Silverado platform, Duramax. And I tell you what, he is so gracious. He was great in the quail field. But I got to tell you, man. Thank you. you were on target today, but this truck is also on target. It is. Tell all the folks out there about this new platform because I'm excited about it. I love it, and I know you do. I do too. I tell you what. First of all, for this year, we've got the new Multiflex tailgate. It offers six unique functions for Silverado customers, including a standing workstation that'll hold up to 375 pounds, along with some very unique loading um, situations and solutions. And uh, it's just a great platform all around. Well, talk to me a little bit about the new Duramax diesel that's in this, because I, not only is the fuel mileage and the gas mileage great, but I tell you, it, it, it runs. I mean, it purrs better than a cat. <laughs> yeah, we, we may not even, it's not running, but you probably wouldn't even hear it running right now. I tell you, this engine is right on spot. It's a three liter light duty Duramax diesel. It has uh, 277 horsepower with 460 pound foot of torque. It gets 23 miles a gallon in the uh, city and a class leading 33 miles per gallon highway. It is quiet, quiet, but very powerful. Well, Kurt, talk to me about the trailering package. I know that's very special on this new platform. It is, and I may not have mentioned it, but uh, this light duty Duramax will tow up to 9,600 pounds in two wheel drive. So it'll pretty much cover any uh, need out there that uh, our customers will want. And with the uh, max trailering package, you have multiple camera views uh, so that uh, you can tow that load safely. Well, Kurt, it's always a privilege and a pleasure to have you on the show, and I will tell you, it's, it's just great to get you out there popping some quail. I mean, yeah, it's it was been fun. a beautiful, beautiful day down here. And if folks want to get their very own Chevy Silverado, all they got to do is go to Chevy.com and find a dealer near you. Well, folks, that's our show for this week for Southern Woods Plantation. I'll tell you what, and Chevrolet, Kurt Newbreck, and all the great dealers who make it possible for Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine. If you haven't got a new 2021 Silverado, Log on to Chevy.com and you can find a dealer right near you. And as I always like to say each and every week, the outdoor is my passion. I want it to be yours too. We'll see you right back here again next week on another episode of Bob Redfern's Outdoor Magazine.